The following video shows a Desmi service engineer overhauling the Desmi PVLN centrifugal pump 1040 type in monoblock without bearing design. In this video we also replace the bearings for the Desmi standard motor. This replacement of motor bearings is recommended as there are no bearings within the pump itself. So therefore the motor bearings are exposed to wear and tear. For the overhaul, we use a genuine Desmi spare parts kit. We will go through the overhaul step by step by disassembling the pump, replacing all gaskets, sealing units and bearings, and completing the overhaul by reassembling the pump. When servicing and or overhauling a Desmi pump, we recommend you always study the manual before starting. Manual and spare parts kits are available at www.desmi.com after sales. Make sure you have the necessary tools and the spare parts kit at hand. All the needed parts are included in the spare parts kit and on the rear side an item list for all parts is shown. A list of the pumps which are covered by the spare parts kit is also included. On the rear side a QR code is shown. When scanning the code enter the www.desmi.com slash aftersale section where manuals, overhaul videos, spare part kits, etc. are publicized. Using Desmi Genuine Spare Parts Kit makes it easy, convenient and trouble-free for you to overhaul your Desmi pumps. Initially, the pump has to be dismantled. Loosen the nuts and dismantle the pump unit from the casing. Remove the Allen screw and dismantle the impeller. Remove the spring and sunk key. Remove the gasket and rotating part of the mechanical shaft seal. Dismantle the top piece and remove. Push out the stationary part of the mechanical seal. Remove the fan cowl. Remove the ring lock and pull off the fan. Dismantle the motor bracket. Remove the pointed screws and pull off the shaft. Remove the end shield with rotor. Remove the wave washer. Remove the ring lock and pull off the drive end shield. Pull off the non-drive end shield. 
Remove the oil seal rings. Remove the bearings. Place the lock ring on the drive-in shaft. Use an induction heater or the like to heat up the bearing to 100 to 110 degrees centigrade and press the bearing up against the shoulder. Lubricate the oil seals and mount them in the end shields. Assemble the drive end shield and the rotor. And fit the ring lock. Place the rotor into the stator. And assemble the drive end. Place the wave washer in the non drive end shield and assemble the non drive end. Place the fan and ring lock. Mount the fan cowl. Lubricate the shaft end. And tighten the pointed screw according to the manual. Clean the shaft end and check for damages. Mount the motor bracket. Clean the recess, surfaces and seat of dirt and rust. Unpack the mechanical shaft seal. And clean the sliding surface with alcohol. Be careful not to touch it after cleaning. Lubricate the outer rubber ring with soap or soapy water. Place the top piece in the motor bracket. And press the seat into place. 
Check that all parts are correctly embedded. Place the conical bush onto the shaft to prevent the rubber bellows from being damaged during assembly. Clean the sliding surface with alcohol and be careful not to touch it after cleaning. Lubricate the inner surface of the slide ring rubber bellows with soap or soapy water and push it over the shaft. Remove the conical bush. Fit the sunk key in the shaft. Insert the spring. Lubricate the impeller or shaft end, then mount the impeller, screw and washer plate. Clean the pump casing for dirt and rust. And lubricate the recess. Place the gasket in the recess. And mount the pump unit into the casing. Finally, tighten the nuts and the overhaul is complete.